Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have an unboxing of the luxury subscription box from the pencil case place. I will link the product down below and this is, as I've mentioned, a subscription box. So it's a surprise and it comes to you every month if you sign up and it costs under $50 Australian plus shipping. They have a flat rate of under $7 for domestic shipping and you get free shipping if you spend over $90. So this box was very kindly gifted to me, but this video is not sponsored. I have to say though that I have peeked into this box, but I haven't pulled out everything from the box yet. So I wanted to do that with you. So it comes in this little pink box and it looks like this. And there's information about what's in the box and the sticker. So I'm not gonna take a look at that. So let's go ahead and open it. And then the first thing that you see are these bunch of cards. I'm gonna take out the first one because it has some codes and things and it has other goodies such as these cards. So let's take a look at the cards first. It says the secret to your success is in your daily routine and it is printed on quite a textured cardstock. I think that's really pretty. And it also says here with organization comes empowerment. And at the bottom, you have the hashtag, um, the pencil case place. And it's blank at the back. And then you have some journaling prompts. It's held together by this really pretty clip uh, that's shaped like an arrow and it is gold. And if you're into journaling like me, then you will really enjoy this because this has some um, prompts that you can use for journaling. And then it has an explanation at the bottom of reflective journaling which is something I highly recommend. So let's go ahead and take a look at what is in the box. It is wrapped in tissue paper that has glitter on it. And then it has this embossed um, sticker, round sticker that says pencil case place. You get five premium items as well as other goodies. And hopefully the audio for this video is all right because I hear a lot of traffic noises and I'm, I hope that it's not getting picked up. So anyhow, let's take a look at the first item here and it is a pack of ze Zebra Mild Liners um, and this is the jewel ones. So a lot of the products here are Japanese inspired or from Japan. So this ones are definitely from Japan. The packaging has Japanese text on it and everything. So if you don't have any Zebra Mild Liners and you wanted to try it, this is a really good box. This is the May box, by the way. And it has the pink, the neon yellow, and the green. And I think I have some of these colors in my collection already. And it comes with the tip that's chiseled, but you also get a tip that is just um, pointed. And I believe this is 0.4, I'm not quite sure. So you get bold and fine, says here. So you have seen a lot of my liners in the past, I'm pretty sure. Next we have this pack of gold bowl clips and you can always use this, especially if you're um, creative journaling and you're using a lot of stickers, then this is something that uh, I'm pretty sure you will get a, a lot of use out of. So I'm very happy to have this in the mild liners as well. Then you have some sticky notes and I think these are not film, this is paper. So they're very easy to work with and you can write stuff on it with any pen. So yeah, it is paper. So let's take one out. So this is the green color scheme. And I think the theme for this box is florals. That's why it has that green um, color scheme here. And this is what it looks like and it's sticky at the back. It's not heavily sticky, which is fine for a sticky note that is paper. Next is a bunch of stickers and these are decorative but also really fun because you get quite a selection and it is in fact one of my favorite washi or rather one of my favorite materials which is washi stickers because they aren't um, too bulky in a hobonichi because they are very thin. 
so this one is cut there we go and it has a clear back and this one has the faces and then you get plain ones as well and this is also kiss cut so you can just peel them off this one as well so all of them just like that and it's good for functional as well as decorative planning and then we have another sticker sheet this one is in i think matte paper and you only get one sheet and as i've mentioned this is floral theme or spring themed so you, you do get a lot of um, floral elements this is matte but um it's very smooth like one of those unicorn paper things so i really like that i really like the chair blossoms at the side and then let's go ahead and grab the last floral thing that i see which is a individual washi let me let me pull it out and show you okay so it has that sticky thing there to help you grab the first flower it's grabbed onto the first flower really well it's a little bit tricky to pull out um, let me get a tweezer there we go so you get to have these individual stickers but it is in the form of a washi roll. I'm just gonna put it back together. That is that. And then a few more pens. First, we have this green one. I've never seen this before. And, oh, it's a pen. Hang on. It is black and very thin, which I prefer. And it feels really nice. And of course, it's very pretty. I love the color. It says to leisure, made in Japan. And then in that same pack, we have this, and I'm very excited about this. This is the Mangaka 01 from Zig. It's just um, a fine liner. Very, very black, very nice. And then last of the pens is this one. And I think this is a pencil. Oh, yeah, it says mechanical pencil there. And I've just had this giant haul of Japanese stationery items. And I'll link that down below in case you're interested. And those are from Kokuyo. So this is not a Kokuyo. This is a Tombow. It's very heavy. Oh, it has the same um, mechanism as the Kukuyo pencil where you have to twist this bit to pull out the eraser. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Sorry, this is my first time with this mechanical pencil. And it says, hello. And this is what it looks like. So this feels really steady. And I highly recommend this. Next, we have this, and I think it's a candle. Yeah, it's a candle. That's really nice. And it has this face. I'm not sure how you're going to light this. Non-flammable surface for two hours. So, so maybe on glass. So you can put this on top of glass and then you can burn it. It doesn't smell like anything right now. It does smell a little bit like soy. So it must be soy based. I'm not really sure because I haven't seen or read the description. But that is really cute. And then we have this block. And I assume that this is for the cards. So you can put it like this. But there may be something else in here, but I'm not sure. Okay, and then the main thing here is the thing at the bottom. And these are the Start Fresh Daily Planner pads. I think this is a pad. Let's open it up. It's from Leaf Street. It's designed and printed in Australia. This bag is compostable. And so are the stickers. There are stickers. Ooh, okay, so this is a pad and i think this is an a5 size so if you have an a5 planner then you can just steer this off and then punch it and then you have daily um daily planning pages it doesn't have any print on the back and it actually teaches you how to use this here and i think that's really nice so i'm excited to try this and those are all the things in the box i think let's check out this description 
so yes yeah, so you have the band-aid oh this is that one so that's a brand from japan they're famous but not as famous as mt they have the leaf street no leaf street note page which was the last thing that i unboxed you have the gold page bulldog clips the wooden card stand to display your code cards and journaling prompts so i was right and then you have prompts and codes and then it doesn't oh okay so here you have the two pens um the this one and the zebra mile liners but they didn't talk about this one which is I was very excited to see this because I haven't seen this in a while. <laughs> I haven't seen this in Australia. I have to, have to admit I haven't been like searching really well. They also didn't mention that they were going to put in these stickers and the the candle, the sticky notes. So there's actually quite a lot in the box that are secret. So those are all the things from the box and I, I have to say if I'm going to rate this box I will rate it 5 out of 5 because there were a lot of really nice surprises in this box that are really up my alley. The one downside I would um, say about this box is that well it's a good and a bad thing so it's a double edged sword that they didn't talk about the all of the items out front so that um, it's easier for you to choose if you wanted the box or not because a lot of these items especially the really good ones are actually not um, advertised highlights of this box is this pencil this one and of course the stickers i really am into that so it might be very difficult for you to choose to get this box but i will tell you right now that it is really worth it to get this box it's really such a surprise to find all these really cool items. It's very well curated. And I'm not just saying that because this is free. I would still highly recommend this. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want some more planning videos, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you soon. Bye.